Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about a dinosaur that was cut from the final version of Jurassic World. So we all know it took the fourth film in the Jurassic Park franchise a long time to hit the big screen. And in those 14 years of development hell, a lot of different ideas were thrown around on what the movie should eventually be. Well sometime around the early 2010s, Steven Spielberg finally felt confident enough to begin real work on the fourth chapter of the saga. But before they go any further, he made it clear that there were a few important factors that the team needed to bring to the franchise. The first and most important of those factors was the implementation of a fully open and operational Jurassic Park. Now, once this decision was made, several resort attractions and dinosaur designs were discussed behind the scenes, and one of those animals actually happened to be the Gigantoraptor, which no, is not just a giant velociraptor. In the fossil record, the Gigantoraptor was a very large theropod dinosaur, standing at an estimated height of around 16 feet and weighing over a ton, some paleontologists think a lot more, this animal has a history of being classified as either a member of the Oviraptoridae or C. nagnathidae groups. It was basically a really big omnivore with a shearing bite that set it apart from other species. Its name literally translates to Giant Caesar, or really Giant Raptor, but I guess you could have already figured that part out. This dinosaur would have lived in the late Cretaceous period, along with quite a few of the assets that were bred for the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World resorts. And while no serious evidence has ever been unearthed that would suggest that the animal had feathers, most people believe that they would have still been a likely occurrence on these dinos. If we check out some early storyboard designs that Jim Martin did while he was working on the project, we can see this dinosaur looking on at park guests while they tour the resort. And it looks like their enclosure and visitor viewing space would eventually get repurposed sometime down the line for none other than the T-Rex, with its secluded lookout window being pretty similar to what we see in the Tyrannosaurus Kingdom for Jurassic World. Now, from what I can tell, this was a very early stage of development on the fourth film, and it more than likely would have been around the time that they were still calling it Jurassic Park 4. As you can see, some of the other work that Jim Martin had done for the movie involved the more Ford Explorer looking gyrosphere renders, which are called Exoball on his website, and the visitor center had just been remodeled into the innovation center that we all saw in the final movie. Now, what's also interesting about his work in the film is that you can actually see what appears to be either a very large Oviraptor, or possibly even the design for the Gigantoraptor itself in one of the pieces of hologram concept art that was done on Jurassic World, which were very prominent in the final product. At the end of the day though, both the Gigantoraptor as well as several other species of dinosaur would not get past this early stage of pre-production development. Steven Spielberg really wanted to get a few specific things into this movie that took precedence over everything else. Ever since the success of the early JP4 pitch trailer, this new trilogy was always designed with the intention of getting the dinosaurs off of the islands and onto the mainland. And the first chapter of this story was going to focus on those important factors that I mentioned earlier. The fully functioning theme park, the presence of a dinosaur handler that had imprinted on and developed a relationship with some raptors, as well as a new, bigger, and badder dinosaur that would break out and cause havoc on the island. Animals like the Gigantoraptor and even the Plesiosaurus would all be subject to change and not have their roles as set in stone as these more important parts of the story. Even the dinosaurs that did manage to make their way into the film would of course undergo tons of redesigns and rethinking behind the scenes, with the Maliosaurus becoming the Indominus Rex, Red the Velociraptor becoming Blue, and that Exoball becoming the Gyrosphere. And while I do think it would be cool to see species like the Gigantoraptor in a future Jurassic story, I can see why they didn't want to give it a scene in the final film. That's not to say that we will never see it again in the series, because Mizrani could very well have cloned one during his tenure on Isla Nublar. When it comes to animals that we factually know were created via Injun's list, most of these are from physical evidence that we can derive from the first three films. The Jurassic World trilogy, however, has a much more flexible time introducing new animals, because 
they never really put a specific collection of names out there for people to see. We can see this in the genetic makeup of both their Indominus Rex and Indoraptor hybrids the most in those new movies. While a dinosaur like Rugops or Giganotosaurus wasn't in the park as far as we are aware, InGen did indeed have access to their DNA and even replicated it for usage in these new clones. So who's to say that they don't have access to anything that you could possibly think of? Who knows, maybe someday we will see this animal in the films. But until that day comes, it's just another species of dinosaur that unfortunately didn't make it into the film series. Now as always, this video wouldn't be possible without the support of my awesome game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Their continued support has really been a lot of help to me when making this stuff, and I never want them to ever forget it. So a big thank you to each and every one of you for watching this video. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in seeing me again. I'll see you all in the next one guys, and as always, take it easy.